Energy for my next review I figured I'd do something a little bit special but for my first Super Nintendo review I'm gonna talk about the good old Street Fighter 2 baby yeah now since I reviewed the fighting street about a while ago I figure I'll talk about the sequel here okay so if you don't know what Street Fighter 2 is well where the hell have you been <laughs> well anyway in this game you can pick from one of eight fighters go around the world to try to become the new Street Fighter 2 champion and you do it in these one-on-one -on -one fights best two out of three fights is the winner and you can go on to advance once you beat the seven ritual competitors you then go after the four other non-playable characters in this game your ball raw the boxer Vega the Spanish dude Saget the former Street Fighter one champion and then M. Bison which is the main evil dude and a pretty damn good fighter himself because instead of Ken and Ryu from the first game you got eight different characters here all together here you got the hot chick big Russian dude whole bunch of guys cool thing about this one is that everybody has a story here you know once you defeat the end boss you get a cool little cutscene saying, you know, why the fighters are here. Some people really hate the end boss and bison. You know, some of them get married. Oh, some of them find out who their mother is. <laughs> well, all that cool, Jeremiah. That's awesome. Some characters are fireballs. Others don't. Others are good at close range combat. Other ones are good at distances. There's just a wide variety. Now you think this big Russian guy would be able to kick this little girl's ass, but <laughs> no, that's not the case because Chung Li is very fast. It's hard to catch her. See, I have to get up close to use my special moves. Okay, one big improvement over the original Street Fighter is that controls are awesome. Here, I have no problems throwing the fireball, doing hurricane kicks, dragon punches. It's all very easy to do. It's very intuitive and it's fun <laughs> see that was my fault that I died the computer won't let up but at least you can't blame on the controls this time so this was probably one of the best reasons to get a Super Nintendo back in the early 90s it had a near perfect arcade port of one of the you know, hottest arcade games of its time the Super Nintendo could accommodate it too because it actually had the six action buttons to do all the moves with the Genesis, you had to buy a special sit button controller you know, to do all those fancy moves in the arcades. I think you had to press the start button to switch from kits to punches, and it, it was just stupid. You had to get a sit button controller, but the Super Nintendo already had it. You didn't need to, you know, do some fancy configurations. Now look at this stage. This stage was awesome. You have anime characters in the background. You have a huge jet in the distance. And you can even break the boxes. It was just so cool back in the early 1990s. And of course the woman with the hot miniskirt was cool too. Although it's a shame they took out the other girl with the miniskirt. Okay another thing that doesn't make this arcade perfect is. The game no longer has the three elephants in the background. Or I should say the six elephants in the background like before in the arcade. Oh, it has, just has two on each side instead of, you know, three on each side. So it's not quite arcade perfect, but hey, close enough. We'll take it. <laughs> Look at that outfit. That's freaking cool. And for the first time ever, you can pause it. <laughs> you get that strange, uh, uh, uh. But a lot of people love the pause feature in this game because, you know, look at that. Yeah, I'm pretty perverted, but, you know, everybody else was doing it too, so... <laughs> You know, it's cool. Chun Li's awesome. Oh, sorry, baby. It's strange in this version the girls are wearing, you know, one piece bathing suits instead of bikinis, but, you know, whatever. It still looks good. Another thing that made Street Fighter 2 cool here is that the music actually speeds up when energy gets lower. So, you know, you gotta act fast. It adds a little bit of tension to the game. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the background music here is pretty good. It represents East Country well here. Tap me if you dare, I will crush you. I highly recommend that you get the upgrades over this, like, you know, Super Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter Hyper Fight In and all that crap. But still, you can't forget the origins of this awesome series and 
what impact this awesome game had on the industry when it first came out in the early 90s. Sega won in on the action, you know, it was even released on a TurboGrafx-16 in Japan. Everybody wanted Street Fighter 2, everybody wanted it on their system, everybody wanted to play it. It was just a groundbreaking series. And another thing I like about this game is it doesn't actually look too much different from Street Fighter 4. I say pick up this game for you know 800 Wii points because it's a lot better than you know spending like 50, 60, 70 dollars for like a PlayStation 3 game. Okay, maybe I should wrap this up now. Street Fighter 2, it kind of sucks now that you know Capcom is releasing so many upgrades for the series. Super Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter Hyper Fighting. Super Street Fighter Turbo, Super Street Fighter Alpha, oh, Street Fighter Movie, Street Fighter the fucking shit, I don't care. Way too many fucking Street Fighters. <laughs> but you know, it's cool to look back at the original that started it all. And it's still pretty good, still pretty fun. Anyway, the original Street Fighter 2, it gets 82 out of 100. Again, it would have rated higher if there weren't so many damn sequels and upgrades and expansion packs. Anyway, that's all for me, Star Soldier, over and out.